Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Cyberlux Corp, but ticker symbol CYBL. In this video, we have some big news which showcases why CYBL can 10x in the short term and in the long term, they can 20 and even 30x with what they have dropped recently. So this is extremely huge. And for those of you who are going to watch till the end, I'll be given a swing trade opportunity for CYBL. The last time we talked about CYBL for a swing trade opportunity, you would have made around... 30% or 50% in a matter of two to three trading days. So make sure you guys don't miss out on this opportunity this time. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, guys, show your support for CYBL by smashing that like button down below as it helps out the YouTube algorithm. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. So firstly, they have released their Cyblox business unit forecast. And this is actually huge. And I want everyone to actually understand how important this is. So we recently had this photo and pretty much they said that what they want to focus, how they're going to focus on it, and then what is the potential market size and you know how much of the pie they could really grab. So they have released their forecast. So this is absolutely huge for CYBL. Focusing on their flight eye, you can see a forecast of 15x their revenue, so going from that 1.1 million to 15.2 million from 2021 to 2022. A change from 1.1 million to 15 million dollars. So the reason why this is important is because we know what to expect this year. And so we can average down our positions. But during 2022, when new people are exposed to this quote unquote new company, 15x their revenue, we will see a big surge of investors investing into CYPL. You know, guys, we have to look at this in the long run. We already know that CYBL is a gem. You know, a lot of people have already profited from CYBL, but a lot of people are still yet to profit on CYBL. Again, this is not financial advice, so take wise a grain. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research. But we got to understand is that right now you're exp you can see CYBL, you can see what they're going to be huge for in the future. And so if they're pro if they're forecasting that they can 15x their revenue, you know, in 2022, imagine when people actually see CYBL. 15x their revenue they're going to be like oh wow this is such a promising company but we have already known that CY's, CYBL is a promising company in 2021 and so that's why I personally am going to average down more on my CYBL positions because I do feel like in the upcoming months that there's going to be huge opportunity for CYBL and we're yet to see the biggest run yet for CYBL I do feel like we're going to see an even bigger run in the up coming weeks or months. That's why I think it's huge. Again, guys, look, if we go down and look at some of the other stuff, you know, we're looking at advanced light, lighting solutions, you know, 917,000 to 4.7 million of 5X in the revenue. We're looking at the infrastructure technology solutions. We're looking at 3 million to 7 million, so roughly, you know, two to three X return. We're looking at then infrastructure software solutions, which is a 30x in their revenue. We're going from 100,000 to 3 million. So all of this is huge. They have a lot of potential. You know, if we're looking on talking about value on paper, this is absolutely huge. And then going into 2023, we're only going to talk about the flight eye because this is the biggest thing, obviously. It's 15 million to 53 million. Now, this is only a change of roughly 4x in terms, you know, in comparison to the 15x. But what you guys got to understand, this is huge in terms of the change in the actual dollar value this is almost a change of 40 million that's only going to be even bigger for cybl and only imagine there's going to be more and more investors coming into cybl for 2023 so if you are one of the early ones right now in 2021 you can only imagine how much you can make how big this will uh, of a difference this will be going into 2023 now we have some other news firstly this is the business updates from cybl we are excited to have a retired very high level government official with 40 years of DC experience joining us as a consultant. Executive experience in the Commerce, Energy, Treasury, State Department, White House, and the DOJ federal agencies. Details next week. So I'm going to state this. Is, they just released this around two hours ago. We're going to stick this very closely next week. So make sure you guys subscribe to that notification bell so you don't miss out when we talk about this. But this is very important as this will prove to be a major help in expanding their operations and reducing the possibility of fault. We already know CYBL is targeting government contracts. So with someone that has experience on how to fit the needs of the government, this will help with cleaner processes because he knows what they want. So when you know CYBL is providing to the government contracts, when they obviously operate into that, they will have an easier way of understanding what they should do. And so this would then provide you know even more contracts and obviously a cleaner process, which could actually reduce operating expenses and help clean up their financials even more. So this is actually very big. You know, I want to see more about this. So make sure you guys stay tuned to this for next week as well, guys. 
And then CYBM released a couple of um, Q and A's. They then further talked about they're going to be doing a YouTube Q and A. We're also going to be reviewing that as well, guys. You guys can obviously go check that out yourself when it's released. But this will be interesting to read as well. So, firstly, this is: Can you say what's being done to acquire slash capital capture the interest of major investors? Now, their answer is. We have begun institutional shareholder outreach and expect more participation over the next several months. This is early still, but we are very excited. So I'm excited as well, guys. Institutional investors are always helpful. The reason for this is because they are able to invest with a larger amount, which pushes the share price up for us. Not only that, they have the ability to help CYBL with expanding their company with their own experience slash connections. So let's talk about the first thing about, you know, why uh, the, um, being able to invest with a larger amount actually helps us. So I'm not saying that us retail investors aren't useful. We are obviously useful. We are in a way the reason why CYBL are in the position they are now. Obviously, they are helping us as well. So, you know, it's a two way kind of thing. But what you guys got to understand is that when it comes to certain situations is, you know, we are easier at kind of selling off our shares. You know, we can all sell, say, a thousand, two thousand shares of um, dollars even worth of CYBL. And this is obviously very easy for us. So and but this could create a massive effect of everyone start selling their shares and we can see a big influx of kind of just capital being sold off for CYBL. Whereas bigger investors, firstly, they're investing in a larger amount, meaning that they are less kind of in terms of liquidity to sell off their shares. But also it provides a bigger kind of incentive for more people to invest in CYBL just because that we are seeing more inst institutional investors. So this is big. And then secondly, in terms of their experience and connections, obviously, because there are, um, you know, if we're looking at them with bigger and more experience, this could help CYBL. This is still only, you know, this is the if. Um, they are obviously experienced in the industry that CYBL is, but just a matter of we are getting more capital and more bigger investors will be huge for CYBL. And then the second question, so are there any immediate plans to reduce your authorized shares or outstanding shares? And CYB answered, we just completed an AS reduction, authorized share reduction from 20 billion shares to 8.75 billion shares in August, a 56% reduction. We're evaluating if this level is needed or can be reduced further more as possible. So what are the difference firstly between authorized shares and outstanding shares? Authorized shares are the maximum number of shares a company is allowed to issue to investors as laid out in its articles of incorporations. And outstanding shares are the actual shares issued or sold to investors from the available number of authorized shares. So what does this mean then? Firstly, this gives the incentive for people to stay in CYBL as it reduces the chances of shares offering. And even if there are offerings, it would be a low amount. This is helpful because it makes sure current investors are protected from any major stock dilution in the future. What stock dilution is, is that right now you could be only 1% of the company, but in the future, if they do stock offerings, whilst the shares you have is still kept the same. So if you have a thousand shares now and um, you know, they do a stock offering, you still ha would have a thousand shares, but whereas now your thousand shares equals to 1% of the company with a stock offering, your 1000 shares may actually only equal to 0.5% of the company. And so normally when you see stock offering because of stock dilutions, people tend to sell off their shares. And so if this helps protect stock dilution, it keeps more investors hooked onto CYBL. So let's look at this. So, um, you know, Usually the number of shares that are authorized is much more than what is actually needed. This is to allow the company to issue stocks in the future when needed as employee perks or perhaps as a secondary offering to raise more money. Company may refrain from issuing all of its authorized shares to maintain a controlling interest in the company and therefore prevent a hostile takeovers. So there are obviously benefits in reducing authorized shares and even outstanding shares. And so again, this is actually good for CYBL and this is something we obviously want to see for CYBL. And finally, for the ones that are waiting for the swing trade opportunity for the technical analysis, you know, last time we talked about technical analysis, we gave out two levels. We gave out the level at 0 0.0374. So if you set a buy order at that level, you know, you then would have made a profit of roughly 25 to 30%, obviously depending on your thing. Now, obviously it's wise to set a stop loss, but for when a company that has such a promise in future, when I personally took the swing trade, I actually didn't have any stop loss. Um, if, and you know, if I did, it then would be at the 50 MA. 
The second level I then gave was 0 0.0320. Now this was another major level. You guys can see that we obviously did go below it, but you guys can see on this particular day on the 7th of October. So if you guys managed to set a buy order at this level, you would have made a 50% at then the next level of 0 0.0480 in the matter of two to three trading days, depending on what levels you bought in. So we are meeting another huge opportunity again. Firstly, we have the 50 MA coming close to the price. The 50, what the 50 MA does is, is that it acts as a very strong support. Now, when you do trade stocks, I would recommend stop loss. I, in fact, I always recommend stop loss. You know, I personally sometimes trade without stop loss because I obviously understand there is long term potential. Plus, it was more of an investment, but I also saw it as a swing trade opportunity. Now, right now, Again, this is not financial advice. Right now, with the 50 MA coming close, you know, 0 0.0374, again, is another good level to obviously set your buy order in. If you were wanting to invest into this level, um, I personally have another ba um, buy order set at this level. I have two buy orders set at, firstly, 0 0.0374, which has already touched, so this position has already been executed. So I'm in for a portion of shares, which I will be selling off a large portion, which is 75% at 0. Um, 480 and then the rest at um, 0.542 which is the previous high we made again we could go even higher than that for those of you who want to set a level at 0.0653 again is welcome that will be roughly around a level of 73 percent now again this is swing trade and that doesn't mean I'm selling my investments for the long run I'm keeping mo majority of my shares for investment for the long run so don't worry about that now we almost reach this 0 0.0320 but we haven't i still have a buy order set there if it reaches there obviously good you know i'm able to buy more shares but if it doesn't it doesn't matter because i have my shares at 0 0.374 but you know these two levels are important because pretty much we're just going to see this around something around the same movement happening again and this 50 ma if we see it going up even higher we're going to see it acting as a support so i could be setting a buy order at a 50 ma touch but yeah that is the swing trade for cybl again guys this is not financial advice take it how you will this is what i'm personally doing make sure you're doing your own due diligence and research anyway guys that's it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below comment down below what you guys think about cybl comment down below what you want to see next other than that enjoy your day